Hi there and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend, a 10 day period in which the UK's weather changes dramatically. Now we've been flagging this change for some time because it's linked to goings on across North America. Now we saw this intense cold wave develop over the weekend and the start of the week across Canada and the USA. That then collided with much warmer subtropical air creating an enhanced temperature gradient. And often when we see these enhanced temperature gradients in the Northern Hemisphere, we see a more powerful jet stream as a result. And that is, in fact, what's coming out of North America at the moment. A very powerful jet stream, 250 mile per hour winds or so in the upper troposphere. And that causes areas of low pressure to spin up if they get on the right side of the jet stream. And in this case, storm Aowin moves onto the cold side of the jet stream and that allows it to deepen intensely and rapidly a process known as explosive cyclogenesis where it deepens more than 24 millibars in 24 hours and by the time we get to Friday that's moving into northwestern parts of the UK and Ireland so it's likely to bring a spell of disruptive damaging even dangerous winds on the southern flank as it moves through. But before we get to Storm Eowyn, the weather turns unsettled from Thursday because of this feature just coming in ahead of that more active jet stream. And this is a front that's likely to bring a spell of heavy rain for a few hours during the morning across western parts of the UK, accompanied by lively winds, 50, 60 mile per hour wind gusts for Wales, the south and southwest of England, yellow warning in force for this. And then it sweeps across the UK so that it's wet and windy in Scotland, northern England and the east of England by the end of the afternoon. Brighter skies from the west, but staying blustery with further showers, feeling cold as that wet and windy weather turns up in the north with some hill snow for Scotland. It does clear through though, and then Thursday evening, it's calmer and clearer for a time. That will lead to a touch of frost in one or two spots towards the east of the UK. And with that cold air in place, that's why we're likely to see a spell of snow as storm air wind turns up mostly over northern hills. Likewise for Ireland, but this is midnight, Thursday night going into Friday, and this is when the storm starts to move in. Initially a band of heavy rain and some hill snow, but the winds really pick up behind the first band of rain, and that's what we're all likely to see come Friday. So the winds are the main concern from Storm Eowyn, and this graphic shows how fast those gusts are likely to be. Now, we're starting off midnight on Friday, and this is uh, just as Storm Eowyn by 2 or 3 a.m. brings its most damaging winds into parts of Ireland, and the colours here correspond to the key on the left, so you can see just how uh, strong those wind gusts are likely to be for the Republic of Ireland. That's why Met Erin have, of course, issued red warnings. But for the UK as well, it's likely to be a period of disruptive and in some places damaging wind. Western Scotland, Western and Southern England, parts of Wales and Northern Ireland, by this stage, 4 a.m. on Friday, seeing wind gusts of 50, 60, in some places where we've got some exposure, 70 miles an hour. But the winds continue to pick up across Irish Sea coasts through Friday morning, peaking at around 8, 9, 10 a.m. And this is when this very nasty swathe of strong winds is likely to move through Northern Ireland into the Isle of Man, as well as North Wales, Northwest England and Southwest Scotland. And these winds moving across Northern England as the morning progresses are likely to be very, very uh, worrying. So that's why the Met Office have issued an amber warning. Now, Northern Scotland not seeing particularly strong winds until later Friday and into early Saturday as Storm Eowyn finally moves away. And as you can see, it turns much calmer further south by this stage. But this is the area of most concern and amber warning in force at the time of recording. But of course, these warnings may be refined over the next day or so and updated. So I would encourage you to check the very latest on the Met Office website and app. But for the time being, 70 mile per hour wind gusts inland in this zone with the risk of 90 mile per hour wind gusts around hills and coasts. Dangerous conditions around coasts with large waves, flying debris and transport disruption is likely as well as power cuts. So widespread disruption and dangerous and damaging wind gusts are likely from this storm. If you've got travel plans on Friday, then I would encourage you to check the forecast and transport news very closely be prepared to change your plans and also if you've got any loose items around your home 
I would encourage you to uh, secure those before we get to the winds on Friday. Elsewhere across the UK, fairly widely, we've got yellow warnings for the wind, 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts towards the southeast of the UK. Elsewhere, 70 mile per hour wind gusts in exposed locations, perhaps a touch more for western parts of Scotland. Now, winds are going to continue to be strong in the north on Saturday. That's why there continues to be a yellow warning in Scotland. And on Friday, winds aren't the only concern. We've got a spell of heavy rain for Wales in the southwest, 25 millimetres widely, 60 over hills, and snow, mostly over hills, perhaps some temporary accumulations at lower levels, but mostly we're talking about 5 to 10 centimetres above a few hundred metres across Scotland and northern England, and the risk of 25 millimetres uh, 25 centimetres above 300 metres on the hills of northern Scotland. So let's take a look at the rain and the hill snow on Friday as this system moves through. The worst of the rain and the hill snow moves out of the way by the afternoon. Blustery showers follow and this is when the winds pick up across northern Scotland but they start to ease further south and with some brighter spells breaking out. But it is going to be a very windy day for all of us. Then going into Friday night, it actually turns a little calmer further south with clear spells and perhaps in one or two spots a chilly start to Saturday, a touch of frost in places. Blustery showers for central and northern and western Scotland as well as Northern Ireland and some cloud appearing again into the south and southeast with the potential for some rain, albeit light to moderate across southeast England. Skip forward to Saturday afternoon and you can see actually it's a reasonable day for many across England and Wales, sunny spells, feeling rather cold. Scotland and Northern Ireland, some western areas seeing showers and these will be falling as snow across Scotland and it's going to stay windy for much of the day across Northern Scotland in particular. But into Sunday, or after a, a fine start to the day, it does soon turn unsettled once again with the next low turning up bringing another spell of wet and then windy weather to many parts of the UK from the southwest. This is 4 p.m., so a dry, fine day for many before we've got this wind and rain moving in by the end of the afternoon. And this low is a different beast compared with storm air wind. It's not likely to directly cross the UK. It's likely to sit towards the west as a more mature feature. It will still bring strong winds and heavy rain, and that rain falling on top of Saturated ground could cause one or two issues, but it doesn't look like winds are going to be quite as potent as storm air wind. However, it is going to lead to more blustery weather throughout Sunday into Monday and potentially beyond that as well. The weather stays very unsettled. Here is that mature low just circling to the west of the UK, bringing rain followed by showers and a very blustery start to next week. And if we skip forward to Tuesday, you can see that a low, if not that one, still sitting to the west and northwest of the UK. This is the most likely weather pattern for Tuesday the 28th of January, and it's looking very unsettled with low pressure anchored somewhere to the west or northwest of the UK. West to southwesterly winds, relatively mild, particularly towards the southwest, colder further north and east, and with spells of rain or showers continuing throughout Tuesday and Wednesday. And in fact, this chart shows that it's likely to stay unsettled throughout next week with areas of low pressure tending to come and go. These blue colours here on the forecast going out to the next couple of weeks indicate that low pressure systems of one flavour or another are likely to stay in charge. And uh, mostly these lows are coloured up by this dark blue, so westerlies in charge. That is until we get to next Thursday and then this would indicate there's quite a lot of uncertainty from that stage in terms of the precise weather patterns in charge of the UK's weather but mostly I would suggest that this is just some uncertainty about where these areas of low pressure are going to end up sitting and that the trend to much more unsettled weather continues into the start of February. Just to give you an idea of what that looks like, these are the top three most likely weather patterns for next Wednesday. The most likely is uh, one low clearing away, showery northwesterly winds, colder than average in the north, milder than average further south. But other scenarios show that low pressure to the northwest of the UK is also a possibility with much milder 
weather than normal and spells of rain or showers. So a very unsettled look for the middle of next week, no matter which of these weather patterns is most likely. And that trend continues as January comes to an end. But one subtle difference starts to emerge in the modelling, and that is that higher pressure looks slightly more likely to the south for the last couple of days of January and into February. And that high pressure edging into the south, for example, would lead to a shift in the most unsettled weather towards the northwest of the UK with perhaps some longer drier spells towards the south. But overall, looking ahead to the 1st of February, for example, the weather stays rather changeable with further blustery winds, milder than average, and spells of rain or showers. We'll keep you updated on everything, of course, on our YouTube channel. And uh, make sure you stay up to date with Storm Eowyn approaching.